Street at Central Avenue. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Is this your first time visiting us? Awesome. Then you guys can take a floor plan if you'd like. We show two different films here in the museum. Back in the history gallery, there's an auditorium. We show a film on the history of the Manhattan In the theater through the defense gallery, we show a film on how the history of the Manhattan Part of our current mission here is the lab. Where do you want to start? It doesn't work with your coat. <laughs> you gotta use the moisture from your hands. I wanna. Okay, I wanna. Look at that. How are you so electrifying? Are your hands wet? No. <laughs> They're not wet. You are producing a lot of microamps. <laughs> I didn't even do that much. How much did you do? Like 15. Let's see what Jackson does. Don't push on it, Jackson. Why? Don't push on it. Jackson. Just put your hands on it. Forty. How am I forty? No, You're look. Thirty. Look at Just me. Just talking about the electrons. See the moisture in your hands acts kind of like a battery acid to get the electrons to flow from the copper to the aluminum. Let's see what mommy is. Mom does One, it. Five microamps. Mine does not. Nearly ten. ten. He was close to forty. Sammy is like almost to 80. How? Sammy probably has more moisture in her hands than you guys do. Because he looks so moldy. No, I do not. There's a big chunk of obsidian. I think it's huge. I know, obsidian? I think it's huge. This is sharp. Well, I'm going to need some excavation kit. I don't know, stuff to look at in here. They have a YouTube channel, Los Alamos National Lab, Neutron Science Center. It's, it's a dual axis radiographic hydrodynamic test. Interesting. is often viewed as beginning in 1976 with the arrival in Los Alamos of the revolutionary record-setting Cray-1. In 1947, this analog instrument, the Fermiac, could be used to predict the paths of neutrons in certain simple chain reactions. Digital computing arrived at the lab in 1952 with Maniac, using state-of-the-art vacuum tubes as on-off switches to perform calculations. Fast forward to today, consumer appetite for multimedia and gaming drove the development of high-performance processors. Hey look, I have one of those. It's pretty. So, only one person can get in at a time. Allows them to make sure every person's authorized. 